Hi, Twilly. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Laura. No, I go first. I'm Laura. Yeah, you are Laura. So welcome back to our channel. I'm Laura. I'm Laura. No, I'm not a bad man. I can't be a bad man. No, Laura was sitting here, so I'm Laura. No, let's not change. No. Why would you? Ah, Laura is a nice one. No tattoo here. Yeah. No. But Laura is the very, very polite one. She's nice. People like her. Okay, I'm, a, 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 I'm the bad man. I'm the bad <laughs> one. Welcome to our channel. Make sure you subscribe and like. And then follow me on... No, no, no. I go first. Go go first. Now. Follow me on Instagram, Kofi, K-O-F-I underscore O-T And get in that DMs, I got all the makeup tutorials, not the tutorials but. Okay, alright, follow me on Mr.Freddy, P-H-R-E-D People can't spell that Oh, P-H Kofi His actual name is Chuck Kofi P-H-R-E-D-G-Y Freddy, just follow me I got the tutorial that you My need. My makeup is on flip. Thank you for guys. Look at this beard. I know you're looking at that. Uh, this beard is on flip. Subscribe. 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 It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, the P H R E D D is there, right? I don't. I want to hit fifty thousand like for it. Hi, Tini. Welcome back to our channel. So it's Laura, Lori, and today we'll be showing you how to get this look and the products to use. Anyway, some of you have been at DMs asking what's your favorite product and all that. But I'm yeah, wondering how, how would you do this, how you use this, blah 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 blah. Because you know you never let me talk. Anytime I'm talking, then you jump in. What is that? Hey, wait. What's it? Hey? <laughs> anyway, it's like I was saying, people were in my DM asking what was our favorite product and like favorite makeup, what's foundation, oh. all that stuff. So you guys should let us know if you want us to do it, another video about that but this kind of video is kind of boring so you know <laughs> yeah it's true like, we don't really have fun shooting makeup videos that's why we don't like shooting makeup videos but we hope you enjoy it and you learn something from it so subscribe like and comment on what you think and what you want to see us do in our next videos so let's let's get straight to the video yes So I'm going to use my favorite favorite primer for extremely oily skin. This is the Becca Eva Matte Spoilers Primer. <laughs> so I'm going to put the places that I have more acne and then like where I get more oily. So I think. Well, I'll be in the Angel Veil by NYX. This is my favorite primer from day one. I would prefer this to this because this is too dry. This will make your makeup last all day long, baby. Oh, it might be open. You guys, did I tell you what Laura said to me? After I threw the car from it was it? I mean, after I threw it. Can you not talk about that from? Laura liked to be that. Yeah. The bank account she was pranking me. Can you guys imagine? Oh, oh, that's a lot. Anyways, back to my story. Don't make me feel feel bad here. Like you really made me feel stupid in that video. Anyways, you guys. So I did my investigation, and then Laura actually has a secret bank account. But the good thing is, it's in both of us are names, so that's a good thing. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to mix the Ellie Girl Illuminating Foundation. If you can tell, we are shooting at night and I'm going out, so I want you know that kind of glowy, beautiful, and natural. This is extra full coverage as well. But then I'm going in with the um, with the Zara Foundation, Zara Healthy Glow Foundation. So I'm mixing it. And you guys, I really wanted to show you these blenders, okay? I mean, the ones that we actually sell in the twin store. So this is it when it's dry, and this is it when it's damp. Can you tell the difference and can you see? I mean, can you tell how soft it is? Like, it's so squishy. And then this, we have two different types. This type and this type. So this is it when it's dry, and this is it when it's damp. So contact us for yours. Link is in the bio. So. Okay, so the, do you guys see this brush? It's amazing. This is what I use for my foundation. And even people come here, it's part of the 10 pieces brush set, which is going for just. I think you have the whole set that you can take. Yeah. Oh, this is it. Yeah. This is just going for 100 CDs only. You get full face brush set. So I just squished, combed a bit of the um, LA Girl liquid foundation. Can you see the full coverage? It's amazing. I just love. This foundation for night, not day. 
daytime the sun comes out, it becomes hot. So you know, you sweat. But this one, it's in the evening. That's why I'm using this one. Okay, so me, um, I I'll be using the beauty blender, and then because I want extra coverage, I I always go with my fingers first. All right, so moving on. I'm moving on with this bad boy right here. This is the um, instant instant age rewind dark circle eraser. This is full coverage. I love using this one under my eyes, especially. It's just perfect. But then if you want like a more beauty, beauty bit, I go in more with the lighter concealer. But that's not necessary. Too. Okay, so for co um, contour, okay. We normally prefer to do the cream and then the powder because it makes it like last the whole day. But then if if it's just some short event that you are going, you can skip this part and just yeah, maybe like powder. a routine or something. Yeah, you can just skip the cream contour and just move move on to the powder contour. So there will be Kisses um, face contour. This is the darker shade and um, everything on here. So I'll I'll be using this shade for my cream contour. I'm just going to grab my brush. This is the contour brush. You just dab, dab. Please don't sweep. If you sweep, you move your foundation. Yeah, so you want to prefer to dab. Just tap on this side. No, no, no dab, tap. Okay, back to the nose contour. Most of you have been DMing me how to contour our nose and stuff. You need to cream contour and then put the powder on top because we are black, you know, we are dark skin. We are not white people that they can just use the bronzer and then they just get. So if you really want to get that sharp nose, you need to cream contour. So I'm just blending my nose first. And I like to use a smaller brush. I don't like to use a big brush on my nose. Because it'll be everywhere. And I want it to be precise. This is a line. See what I mean? Can you guys tell my nose is already looking pointed? Yes. So the next thing is to set, you know, after liquid is powder to make it last, like to stamp everything. So those, those of you who just do your foundation and go out and be expecting it to stay, it doesn't stay. Okay, so no matter how good it is. Especially when your oil starts to come. It's, it's, it's going to be cream. Cream to oh, cream. cream. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to always powder. So if you need, especially oily skin, you have to lose your sweat. Please, you need to set and bake. Or else it won't last. And using the Maybelline to fit me in shade deep, right? Medium deep. To bake and warm. Now I'll just set slightly set. Because we still want to be dewy, you know, dewy, dewy. And mind you, you really have to blend under your eye before going in with the powder. Because right you put the powder on it. Right when you, right when you, you put the powder on it, you're like locking it in place. So, as you can see, I'm just pressing in the powder. And honestly, I prefer my blender when it comes to this stage. Because I'm pressing it in. Locking it in place, and then from for bronzing, I'm not going to use a contour powder. I'm just going to use the LA Girl um, powder in shade chestnut to bronze because it, it, it also has that reddish tone, and I love me some reddish bronzer. Uh, bronzer. Yeah. yeah. Dabbing motion first. Tapping, tapping motion. Do you know what tell me that way? Patrick, uh, Patrick Star. I keep saying that. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so yeah, let them understand. Okay, so I'm saying. just going to like tap my brush on my bronzer, just like that. You guys, I honestly thought the camera was recording. It wasn't rolling. I it wasn't rolling. rolling. Like I was, I was doing the nose bronzing. So I just use the chestnut over the um, contour, right? And I'm going to use a fit me powder to just cut it. Not cut it, but like shape it, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so that's so what I'm going that to That uh, helps push the contour together. Yeah, and you make your nose, you know, extremely. And oh, I already kept a, um, a normal face powder just here. So the next thing I'm going to do is blush. So the blushing, I actually love blush because it gives your face like some a color and then it, it blends your highlights and your contour together so that you see any harsh line with the uh, contour like dark and the light okay so the, the 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 brush the blush the blush the blush marries them together that's what i'm trying to so this is the blush we'll be using this is the elf 
lash palette. I just use the L lash palette in this color and then this one. This two. It's, it's available in two, in two different shades in the light and the dark. I just love the dark. Cause I can and you guys see the difference, like with blush and no blush. I know, right? So this is with blush and without blush. So it's like, it's blushing is just going to add color to your face. And make it you makes your good. cheeks like make your cheek really pop. You see that? Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is to set this area of my face and then uh, make the contour extra sharp. You know how I love it. What are you doing? For the same part of course. I think that's enough blush, right? <laughs> oh crap! Using the same powder, I'm just going to chisel on my cheekbones. Just cutting it. And honestly speaking, I, I, you should. It, it's actually better to put the normal powder all over that area of your face before you bake it, you know? Because right, right when you bake, it's going to absorb the cream and sometimes it gets hard to blend if you have tried it you know what you're talking, talking about. about you know what i'm talking about so this is what i'm going to do and i'm going to leave it there till i'm done with my eye makeup okay so to catch up the fallout from your eyes it's always better if you put a translucent part under your eyes okay so in case there's any fallout you are safe and you know so i'm just going to do that and then I know I look very crazy right now, but don't don't worry. After everything, trust me, my girl is gonna look snatched. Okay, so the first step is to blend your concealer all over your eyelids first, and make sure there's no cutting over over there. So for the eye for our eyebrows, this is what we use, and we use in the shade Ebony. 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 Because we like our eyebrows dark. But they are they are lighter shades just in case you are not a fan of the dark eyebrows. Okay, and for eyeshadow, we are using this palette by J Cat in um, Hollywood, and this is written for just ninety cents. So you trust me, they are fresh. And we'll, be, we'll also be using the very well in the pink Zulu palette, the Juliet Place Zulu palette, and this is one eighty cents. So first of all, the orange first, then we'll blend out with the yellow. And then the pink will come to the crease, and then the lid will be there. Are you done? Okay, okay. Hot top. Okay, so now moving on, I'm going to use the yellow to just blend out the orange. As you guys can see, this side. So I'm just going to blend out. You see, it's not coming in together. So I'm going back in with the orange so that I. Oh, they, hey, sorry. I'm going back in with the yellow so that I will pop out more. Okay, so now I'm going back, I'm going back with the same brush that I used, the first one. And we take pink. The pink is now coming from the um the Zulu palette. So the pink goes right after after the orange. Right beneath the orange. Right beneath the orange, sorry. Take orange and then make sure the pink and the orange marries together all right so now moving on to the purple the purple comes on the eyelid i'm going in with the packer brush because i need this purple to really stand out okay so this one is just coming to my eyelid and then i'm going in with the blender brush to just blend everything out y'all feel me Just like that and then I'm going back in with the brush again take a pink and then blend it out just like that this is simple there's no cut crease there's nothing like there's nothing for you guys to be scared about this is so easy I mean it should be a look you should everyone should be able to do this kind of look Okay, so I'm going back in with the yellow again to just blend out more. That's it. There goes the look. So when lashes come on, it will look more respectful. Lashes and eyeliner changes the game. So let's move on to that. 
Let me do my second eye and then I'll be back. Rolling. Alright guys, so we are done with the eyes and the only thing left is to use a vivid um, bright liner. This is in the shade yellow, right? Yeah, yellow. So we are just going to use this as our liner. So let me show you guys how I'm going to draw my liner. Guys, right, so drawing the line, I like to start with my inner liner. Making sure it's neat so you really don't want to rush. Just take your time, especially if you're a beginner. Alright, so you, you, you can make it thicker if you want. And I think I'll make it thicker. Then I draw the line for my... Just like that. And then I'm gonna join it. Yeah, this is the big shot mascara, mainly. I've heard good things about it. And then this, that, is this, this is actually our first time. This is my first time trying it. Because we are we are the M and N lovers. I love my mascara, M and N. It's so amazing. But then I'm coming to try this one and then I'll let you guys try it. Let's see. So try it and let's see. Let me zoom you guys in. Oh wow. Do you like it? Yeah, it's not bad. The problem. Tell them, honey. You guys see how it pulls your lashes? You really don't mess up my liner, but it's fine. Oh, I think I'll choose them and then for the waterline. Yeah, I'll choose them and over this one. But it's still amazing though, it's not that bad. It's not like, but I love it for my upper lash. Just look at that. I'm really getting the effect those people got. Like, look at that, like it's popping. Oh my god, I love it. I like, I like how it makes your lashes one, 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 one. Them and them will actually make your lashes longer, but it, it, it closes them together. Like, you get it, gathers them together. All right, so for lashes, if you're wearing this 3D make lash, I mean, she means I'm wearing and we okay, and I'm also wearing different. Alright, you guys, so for highlights, you know, for highlighter, this is be my favorite, but now Mac is my favorite, but I'm, I'm just coming back to this to show you guys. For the video, I'm for sure. the sake of the video. So I'm going in with my nose and then. I'm going in with your nose. I mean, I'm, <laughs> she means she's going in with the highlight on her nose. So let me do that thing. So that's it, that's my highlight. So the next thing I'm going to do is my lipstick. I'm going to stop. You guys, yeah. I'm about to talk about the my lipsticks. Usually, with my even with nudes, I normally go for ombre, ombre, and I always do two, three, four lipsticks. Does that make sense? So today I'm just going to do three. So darker, a, a darker one first, okay? I mean the darkest first. Then you go darker, then you go light. Alright, so I'm now going with the dark. Uh, like an actual purple. Don't go in with a very light purple. Alright guys, so we are done with the makeup. I hope you like it and you enjoyed this video. So make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. You guys should let us know if you want to see more makeup looks. And I know because you don't like makeup looks. Because it's kind of boring. Honestly, God. But I think you guys should learn like at least. You, you didn't just click on it. You are learning more. Small, small, small. small. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you follow our social media pages, it's in the link below. In the description box. We will try our possible best to put every product that we use in the de description box. So in case you be wondering or all of that, just check it out there. Bye. Why why are you over there?